Here's how you replace a carburetor on a Briggs & Stratton equipped riding lawnmower. This has a 19.5 horsepower Briggs & Stratton and it's a Craftsman LT2000. You loosen these two and pull that off and then you pop your air filter out of here and then there's four bolts. One right here, two, three, four. You pull this off and now you can access the carburetor. Now the very first thing you're going to want to do before you even touch this is take a picture from the top so you can see where all the linkages go. After you do that, the next thing you're going to want to do is clamp off the fuel line and remove the fuel line and let any excess fuel drain. And then you're going to want to get a 7 sixteenths inch ratchet and loosen this nut and this nut and pull this adapter off and lay it to the side. Now you have a little hose right here, you're going to want to push this off too. Now lay this to the side and lay your nuts to the side. And now you want to get an 8 millimeter wrench. And come in here and loosen this one and this one and unthread these. You're also going to want to disconnect this right here. Now what you're going to want to do is take this little spring out of that hole and rotate the carb assembly so that that comes out and now you're going to have to twist it and get this out. Okay now that you have that out you're going to want to take this little choke lever and remove it like that and lay it to the side. Now you can see the carb has been removed. We're going to get the new one and put it on. Now typically you would clean the carb or get a carb kit and service the carb. But this one, the parts were just adding up. As you can see, this is deteriorated and the spring is worn out and it's missing its little seal. So I need this solenoid too. So it was just cheaper to buy a whole new carb. Typically you wouldn't do that, you would just clean it or service it. But it was cheaper to buy a whole new carb. Alright, here's the new carb compared to the old carb. And in this box you get the new carb, a piece of fuel line, and in here there should be a new gasket. This is the old one. Now here's the part number for this one, but you're going to want to make sure that you go online and look up the part schematic and get the one right for your motor. Now you can find this information on the top of the motor. Here's where you locate that, that information to look up. It's the model, the type, and then this right here. You don't need this, and you can look that up online and it's located at the front of the motor on the valve cover. Now once you have your new carb, you're ready to install it on your motor. 
The first thing you're gonna wanna do is put this choke lever back on it. You can see that I have that installed now. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do is get your gasket and put it in between here and the manifold and run a bolt through it. But before you do that, you need to insert this lever back in its hole and put that spring back in its hole. Now when you put the car back on, make sure you stick this choke lever in its slot and then rotate it in there so that it goes. Now you can see how everything goes back together. You're gonna wanna get your eight millimeter and come in here and tighten these back up. This one and this one. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that you put your motor in fully choked position and check all these linkages to make sure that this choke plate fully closes So now we come down here and see it's not fully closed, is it? And now you have to make some adjustments and adjust this so that the choke plate fully closes at idle. You can see that if I push it a little bit, it goes, but that's not acceptable. This has to be adjusted properly. Once you have it adjusted properly, then you can go ahead and put your adapter plate back on. Okay, now we're ready to reinstall our adapter. So we come up here and replace it and put the first nut on here and get it finger tight and then come around back and put our other nut on here and get it finger tight. And then we can tighten it up with our wrench. Now there's an O-ring that sits in the groove behind here. You want to make sure that it's properly seated. And after that, we can reinstall our plastics. Now put your plastic housing back on. And come over here and tighten this one back up. This bolt, this bolt, and this bolt. And you're going to want to make sure that this heat shield's tabs are properly on the plastic up there so that it doesn't break anything. Now we can insert our air filter. So pop it on here and press it into place. And put our top cover back on and tighten these down. Now we wanna take this fuel hose and insert it onto this barb and cut a section of it so that it fits on there good. After you do that, you wanna reconnect this and put some fresh gas in it and see how it runs. Okay, now you can see I got my short piece of line cut and hooked up exactly where it needs to be and as long as it needs to be and got my wires all hooked back up. To tune this carburetor, you're gonna wanna get a Sharpie And you can see it has some little flat sides on it. This is already tuned, but this is how you do it. You mark on the flat side and draw a line on here. And then screw it in until it lightly seats. Don't screw it in too far. Don't keep trying to force it. You'll damage the seat and then back it out to one and a half turns, counting each time as the black line goes around, and then start your motor and warm it up. 
Now once your motor's warm, come over here and adjust this until it runs best. Turn it in clockwise at half throttle until the motor starts to slow down and then slowly turn it counterclockwise until it reaches a point where the RPMs are running higher than they were before and then turn it back to the slow spot and then find the midpoint in between those two and that's where it needs to be set. Now that you have your setting set get the little plastic keeper and pop it over the top of it and push it down on there. They're kind of hard to see but push it on there and now the carb is tuned. Now you may have to play with your idle screw before you do this but this one's already set correctly. Just play with it until you get it set properly. Now crank her up and see how she runs. Make sure you push in your clutch. Have your choke on full. And there you go. She runs beautifully now. That's how you replace a carb on a riding lawnmower. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if this helped y'all out. Later.